I came across this old book one of my subscribers turned me on to about the history of Pike County, Missouri. And anyone who follows my channel knows that I have an interest in Pike County because of the large, old, ancient mound complex there. Um, kind of in between Aneda and Clarksville area. Large circle of huge mounds, various shapes, pyramidal platform, conical mounds. Most of them are still um, overgrown. Access to those lands are tough because private ownership kind of keeps them preserved in that way, and that's a good thing. But there's some secrets about those mounds that don't really make it into the official narrative of our history in North America, especially up and down the Mississippi River. There's an excerpt here that kind of says a few things that you won't find in most books. It is claimed by many that in different portions of the township, some archaeological specimens have been found. That a partial excavation of some of the mounds discovered along the summits of the line of bluffs adjacent to the river has revealed skeletons, which appear to have rested in their stone-lined sepulcher for ages. There can be no doubt. But whether they differ sufficiently in their size and structure from the physical organism of the Aborigines as to induce the conviction that they are genuine prehistoric relics must be left to the decision of the intelligent antiquarian I would put that in quotations. Portions of the frame of a mastodon have certainly been found in different parts of the township. And but a few years ago, two teeth and a part of the jawbone of one of these huge monsters were found in excellent state of preservation. I wonder if they're still talking about mastodons there or the large bones that they found. One of these teeth is still in possession of Dr. C.W. Farr of Clarksville. And in Clarksville, one of my more recent uploads, I finally made it to the top of an ancient ceremonial mound that's described a little bit more in this um, historical book. You might want to check that out. Where anyone can see it who is curious enough to inspect the possibly last relic of a race of beasts who, whose heavy tread once shook the earth. So the stone-lined sepulcher and the skeletons found inside puzzled archaeologists back in that day. Um, people saw dead bodies all the time. Buried people all the time. Very familiar with what an average size skeleton would look like. So to question, there you go. A little bit more proof that there were an ancient race around that area and probably throughout North America and worldwide. So before these books disappear, From accessibility. It looks like they've already tried to hide some of this oh, feedback on some of the comments of my channels. So not everything that needs to be put in comments on my channel and I know several other channels. Someone is kind of erasing that helpful narrative. If anyone has any information they'd like to send over, send it to spockwoman at gmail.com.